Okay, to start out, you want a nice clean leader. You don't want any fuzzy bits or any extra stuff. Go ahead and put the bobbin on like you would normally do. I usually go ahead and just drop the scotch tension down because a lot of the times I end up getting it caught on the uh, axle. Go ahead and load that on. Put your flyer back on. Make sure it's locked in place. Do not want it shooting off and attacking me. Get the leader back through. Alright, normally when you put the scotch tension on for S plying, that means going in this direction as you're facing the wheel, you want to put it up and over to the left so the springs, it just makes a U. When you go to do counterclockwise spinning, you're going to go ahead and take the scotch tension, loosen it up as much as you can so that you don't end up doing this too tightly to begin with so you can kind of get a feel for it. You're going to go with the string to the left, up, over, down, oh, not get it caught on that peg, and then you're going to hook the peg from the right and tighten it down. What happens when you're using a scotch tension on a bobbin, when you spin, I don't know if you can see that, the spring moves. You know what, I'll just go ahead and tighten it down a bunch. It moves as you spin. It has to be able to move back and forth and bounce. Because that will help control the tension. The spring is really what makes a scotch tension work on a spinning wheel. Um, without it, it's not going to behave properly. Um, it's got to go in... The spring has to be on the opposite direction of your spin. So, when you start spinning, you want to check the uptake of your leader. That seems a little fast for me, so I'm going to loosen up a little bit. Oh, try not to pull my flyer off. The bobbins I have are a little more scuffed up than what we usually send out. So I'm going to test my uptake again, and that's a little bit better. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and stop for a minute and oil up my trails. Remember, it's always a good idea to oil frequently, um, and it looks like I need to do that. So we'll be, I'll be back with you in a few minutes.